Mike's tackle box, baby. Woo! Yes! Hell yeah! Woo! We did it, baby. Let's go. Oh yeah, still, still alive. Uh, let's go, babe. There we go. Woo! Buenos nachos, guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's going to be my second outing and really trying to get aggressive on chasing these uh, striped bass. On my last outing, I was able to get two, uh, one keeper and uh, one kind of small guy, so I didn't want to uh, you know consume that guy so i would just able to uh, put him back of course uh moving forward i'm trying to give you guys a perspective an aerial perspective uh, on what i look for as far as structure goes so and that's you know kind of misleading you know from the ground level you know it's very hard to tell where the rips are where the um you know most of the troughs are so i'm gonna get a bird's eye view i'm gonna try to show you guys what i look for and uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to try to target some striped bass again today. And uh, hopefully we get lucky. You know, we get some a little bit bigger. It is low tide right now. Um, perfect time to do some recon. Uh, that way, if you do go back out to the next spot, uh, you have an idea of what you're up against. All right, guys. We'll see you out there. All right, guys. As you can see, I've got the drone up now. And so about five feet out, you can see that the uh, quickly moving darker water it is moving from my left all the way to the uh, right here and it starts to slow down right into the darker spot again where it joins uh, a section here from my five o'clock all the way up until about my 11 here as you can see the slow moving uh, white water on both ends of this yes that is a sandbar but i do like to throw behind that and those striped bass are kind of hanging out whether it is perch or striped bass they're going to take that five o'clock to my 11 o'clock uh, highway there back and forth and then sure enough a few casts in I was able to get it. This is now the area that I had got some of the uh, drone shots with. I'm gonna stick with the same colors I did on the last outing and hopefully they are still in this area. I just can't get over this wind right now. It's actually a lot higher than uh, which was pre uh, predicted. So, no worry. I don't want to waste the session here if uh, you know this wind picks up. But it seems like it's kind of calming down. So, there we go. There we go. My tackle box, baby. That's a good one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a good one. Mike's tackle box, baby. Wow, that's a big one. That's a big one, guys. Wow, that's a big one. <sighs> Come towards me. That's a big one, guys. That is a big one. That is a big one. Look at the bend. Wow. Whoa, I'm going to have to go between the legs on this one. Wow, wow, wow. That's not horse them in, but this guy, ooh, this one is probably 30, 35 plus. Wow. You can hear the tension. Woo, got my heart racing, baby. I just had to be patient today. Had to be patient today. It's a big mama. She's gonna go for a run. This is a big run. Wow, she slammed that so hard, so aggressively. She's gonna take a run. 
Wow, she's big. She's big, guys. And when I say big, she's big. She's big. Try to keep it low. Wow, she's thrashing. She's big. Wow. She wrapped herself around. Yep. She hit it. Yep. This mama. Wow. My tackle box, baby. Walker, let's walk her. Look at that llama. Oh, wow. Okay. Hang on. Sorry, mama. Fast with you, Mama. I promise. I promise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That there, corner of the mouth. My tackle box, easy. Quick measurement on you, Mama. My apology. My apologies, Mama. My apologies, Mama. She is She's about 31, guys. Mike's tackle box, baby. Woo! Yes! Hell yeah! Woo! We did it, baby. Let's go. Hell yeah! Some water over your lungs, baby. Here you go, mama. She'll let me know. She'll let me know. There you go, Mama. There we go. Oh, other way, babe. Other way, Mama. Oh, yeah. Still, still, uh, let's go, babe. There we go. Woo! Yeah! 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 I knew I stayed patient, guys. I was gonna get one like that. Boom! Yeah! Yeah, baby. So fired up. So fired up. That's experience, baby. That is experience. I had to use my best resources there, my knowledge, to really capitalize on timing, 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 timing. When she hit that, it was so close. My goodness, my goodness, I am shaking. Fired up. All right guys, that's going to wrap it up for uh, Mike's tackle box out here. Rough, rough conditions. We were able to get the uh, the drone up in the air as you can see from the, uh, the clips, of course. And uh, I like to think that, you know, that definitely aided 
in trying to give you guys a perspective on what I look for, you know what I mean? And as uh, there was about a two hour window from low tide all the way up until eh, an hour and a half before high tide, right? So you just gotta think about those areas that are gonna be viable for you to throw a lure. But as you can see and you can hear that the wind has picked up significantly, it's actually probably blowing about 13 mile an hour. So that's gonna like do it for us out here. You know what I mean? I don't wanna keep throwing a cast master for no reason. So like I said, you know, I was uh, able to land that 32 inch or so, you know, thanks guys for uh, keeping me uh, strong on that one. I thought it was gonna get skunked. I did all this work and uh, you know what? And it paid off. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, quick shout out to my dad for uh, looking out for me and uh, blessing me with that fish. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell guys. All right, until then, buenas nachos as always.